are hiding from the radiation. Although actually these CAT scans give out very, very little radiation. That plays music. <laughs> so, we know that these are in an arch. This is sort of looking from the bottom up. Uh, this is the right, this is the left for the bullets. So this is our 308, our 223, our steel tip um, 556, our regular military 556, and our 300 blackout. So the reason the line's wiggly is I just wanted to catch a cross section through each one of these bullets. And that middle blue line that you see is being put down here. So now we're looking at these and you'll notice these little orange hash marks. Picture this x-ray like a loaf of bread. Each one of these hash marks is a slice. And wherever you see this orange line, we've taken the slice and we've laid it sideways. So we're looking at the side right through the middle. So we're starting out on the middle, which has the steel tip. And just let's go up and see if we can see better on the steel tip up there. Okay. So now we can scroll through. Let me I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. So we can really see now the chamber, the powder, and you can see the bullet really sits, doesn't sit very low. The 300 blackout probably is the most significant. That's seated about the same as the 308. But just to scroll through these. And actually, something else that's cool, let's go back to the 300 blackout, and then I'm going to... There's that 300 blackout. Now, let's change this. Let's come over here. Now, if you watch here, as I scroll on this, this is coming down. This is coming this way. And what we want to see is the primer pocket, which is down in here. Let's see if we can see that. That's a very dense metal, so it's not... Just, eh, you can sort of distinguish it a little bit in these. Let me get rid of those lines. You can sort of see the primer pouches. Not well, though. But there you have it, a CT of a 308, a 300 blackout, a 556 military, a 556 steel tip, and a um, 223. And as we all know, the 223 is under slightly less pressure than the 556s, uh, but the brass appears to be exactly the same as far as the thickness, the tolerances that we can see on this. So what we have here, this is uh, 8 shot, 12 gauge. This is a 410 shotgun, uh, 7.5, and then this is a 12 gauge with uh, 9, with the 9 pellets in it. And as we move in, we can sort of see the arrangement of, of everything. So, oh, by the way, I should mention that the slug is actually a hollow point slug and look how mean that looks that is that's serious all right put that back so let's take a look let's see what we have here let me shrink this down let's get some cross sections Easy enough. All right. Here. All right. So, just to sort of orient you, as we have done before. Um, so this is sort of the standard x-ray that people are used to seeing. Let me see if I can make that a little bigger. Alright, hold on a sec. Let's go 
keep me in that window. All right, we'll stay with that. All right, so what we're looking at on this x-ray here is we have um, these little orange hash marks down here. So this x-ray is like a loaf of bread. Each one of these hash marks is a slice. We can follow the orange line. Wherever this orange line is, that's the slice that we pull out and turn sideways up here. So we can sort of look through it. And we are currently looking at the 410, which is this skinny guy, seven and a half. So that's a three inch. And so here's our powder chamber down here. You can see the primer right there. And then the rest of this is sort of filled up with the uh, little shot. All right, now let's go to the slug. That's the cool one. So here we go, we got a hollow point slug and you're seeing these little cuts. That is what I was just showing you before. So it's sort of flowers as it comes, as, as it impacts. Um, just to be a little meaner. And there's our primer, you can see it in here, you can see it here. And we're gunpowder up to here and there's like a little paper wad right here. And then let's go over to our nine here we are and again we've got the paper up here underneath of the balls we've got our primer that's what it looks like primer and the balls are tucked away and oh sorry let me exit this there we go and now we can really sort of see a three-dimensional reconstruction over here. And this is super cool. And up above, this is just a, uh, a view looking up from the bottoms to it. That's, you know, right and left, so the way they were set up on the machine. Pretty cool. Not a lot of people get to look at uh, shot shells this way. But uh, Dr. Tactical's here for you.